Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get a uh, profile photo thing that's your Minecraft skin that looks uh, like one of these. So um, if you don't know, I have a Minecraft skin. Uh, you can look at your own skin by uh, pressing F5 two times. If you're on Mac, uh, look in your settings and change it to a key that works. But um, yes, yeah, so as you can see, here is my Minecraft skin. If you have free look, you can use that to see your skin better. Or you can just get a skin from minecraftskins.com. But basically, once you have your skin, what you're going to want to do is find... Uh, just Google this, I'll link this thing. Uh, this guy's trying to get you to pay to do this. No need to do that. All you have to do is save the image. Click File, Open and go to your downloads and open this image so um i'm not actually sure what the pixel length of this is as you can see it's 300 pixels so if we had a brush we would not want to be able to do that so we go to photop.com again we got a new project white transparent change this all to 32 and 32 and click create so now you have this tiny tiny square you're going to use this zoom tool at the bottom to zoom in uh zoom out a bit actually and then you click file open in place open this image in so now as you can see we have this image so now what you have to do is make this image into our skin so as you can see uh my skin at least is pretty orange so what i'm gonna do is oh my god i didn't mean to do that uh, I'm going to get a nice orange color by uh, using this color wheel feature that they have on this website. I'm not sponsored. So um, I think that pretty much looks like it. I think a little redder actually. Like that. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to look on the side for the brush tool. And uh, instead of making it 15 pixels, to make it 1 pixel, so then I'll exactly fill it in. It'll ask you to raster size it. That just means make it so that it can be uh, used. And so um, now you just click in and hold down on the places where you want it to be filled in. Um, since I have overalls on my skin, I don't want it entirely filled in. I'm just filling in like the arms. And so, um, yeah, about like that maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. You can extend the uh, proportions a little if you want. Um, let me see my skin. Yeah, I'd say that's about good. So then, um, I'm actually going to do that, make it a little less, like, that. I'll make that a little bit more orange. And the good thing about this is you can actually blend the colors so it looks more like your actual skin. And it also looks like I have a hoodie on. So, um, I'm going to make that real quick by just going around like that. Okay, that looks about good. I'm going to add some stuff over here so now that we have our hoodie what you're going to want to do is put in your face features so as you can see the guy has gray hair my guy has brown hair so um we're going to add that by getting a nice brown color so um i'd recommend getting a uh like a orangish brown and make it pretty dark and then what we're going to do is gonna fill in the hair and um, make sure you don't really get the eyes. It's okay if you get the eyes. Um, so yeah, so now that we have like all that hair filled in, what we're gonna do is we're going to get our eyes. So for our eyes, I'm assuming you want them to be white. Um, actually, my eyes are pretty small, so if you want to undo something, you can go ahead and undo. Uh, oh, edit, step backwards, step backwards, step backward. So I have my eyes like that. Uh, that actually looks pretty cross-eyed, actually. And then step backward. And then step backwards. How about like there? And then there. Um, and then I'll fill it in with a nice. Uh, I'm gonna use black just so I can actually see my eyes. So um, now this looks a little weird, as you can see, because we have some extra things that we don't need, like random. Uh, gray parts and so how we remove those is uh, we take our regular brush uh, don't use that eraser because it will not work and so to get rid of the facings if you like this color of the skin that they have 
on this template, uh, you can use that. But, um, I, 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 I don't really like it very much. So now, as you can see, um, on my skin, I also have, like, a weird red nose. Not sure why I put that. I'm also going to fix up the hair a little bit by adding more stuff over there. I think I like that, maybe. I don't know. And, um, I'm going to also add my eyebrows. The only problem is then it'll make it like that. And, and down. Okay, um, actually my eyes are pretty much brighter, I'm not sure actually, so here I'll make a lighter brown, it's brighter by going like that, and like that, okay, so now we have that, so um, to get rid of the uh, excess stuff on the edges, what we're going to do is select that color, and then what you're going to do is you're going to just go like that, and gonna make that a little brighter and get rid of some of that and so then you can get rid of some of the outer features if you want uh, like that I don't really think that that hand thing is necessary that does look a little odd without it but um then uh yeah okay so then um what's it called you're going to uh, basically I think now you're about done um the only problem is the blending also does mess up stuff so I'd recommend uh, before you like completely finish is like go over like the eyes a bit and um, I'm actually going to add something up here because my skin has like this weird oh my god edit step backwards okay um, my my skin has this weird thing at the top it's like that and it has teeth but you're going to want to go like that. So, um, say now this is as good as I want it to be. You click File, Export as a PNG, and you save. So, um, the only thing now is it is going to be, uh, pretty, pretty, um, small. So, like, if I go on uh, Change Your Avatar, as you can see, it's going to show up super blurry when you change your avatar on whatever it is. So, to fix that, um, this is pretty annoying, but um, what you're going to do is go back to photop.com and click new project, and now what you're going to do is make it all 600. Sorry, this is going to take a little while. Uh, if you're fine with the blurriness, uh, it, it won't show up in a small photo like that, but um, if you want it to be like a giant photo, then what you're going to do is go like that. You're going to pull it out. So now, if we click this check mark button, it's going to get super blurry. So, um, I'm not exactly sure how to take a screenshot on this, because I have a Mac keyboard on a Linux machine. But basically, what you're going to do is take a screenshot, and um, then once you take a screenshot, go back and... Just uh, say uh, my screenshot was already there. I'm gonna go back to photop.com, blah, blah, blah. You're going to file and uh, open your uh, thing. Well, let me see if I actually have it in here. Oh my god, exposing all these files because everyone cares so much about my files. Um, there, say uh, th that's like. Say say I have I've taken the screenshot, but then there's a thing in the middle. What we're gonna do to remove that is going to take your pen, click on black, and then you're going to just remove the thing in the middle. Uh, if you if you want the exact color, you can just click on the thing in the middle. So there's the thing in the middle. We just remove that. Things on the sides. Uh, you just uh, select that color. You remove the things on the sides. If you don't like anything about your skin, you can just erase it. If you don't want the shadow, you can just erase it. If you don't want your legs, you can erase it. If you don't want anything, you can erase it. But um, I think that's about it for the video. So um, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. So I will see you in the next one. So bye bye, and also link this thing if you want to just pay some guy to do it for you. But it is pretty simple, and I don't think you need to do that. So see you in the next one. So bye bye.